The private sector is starting to fill a void where law enforcement can't. In the event of a shooting or violent rampage, response time is critical. And with cuts to public safety and the increasing probability of an active shooter situation, that response isn't getting any faster, which is why experts say the demand for private security is at an all-time high. Uh, some of the physical layouts that we have, we have wooded area. When Donnie Myers patrols New Hope Christian College's 36-acre campus in the South Eugene Hills. Basically, I am the eyes of the campus. He likes to blend in with the staff. He wears a polo shirt, drives a marked SUV. But what you can't see, the director of campus safety is prepared for the worst case scenario, a school shooting. This is directly from uh, my SWAT experience. We have a heavy vest. Uh, which actually has about an inch thick uh, ceramic plate, which will stop rifle rounds. To look more civilian, yet still have the upper hand against a shooter, the former Springfield SWAT officer also developed a backpack that conveniently hides a powerful rifle and eliminates the intimidating military look. We've all seen the, uh, the aftermaths of shootings where the SWAT guys are walking around. They've got their long guns, they've got their heavy vests. Well, we can't just walk around the school like that. Um, hopefully it never comes to that. Myers isn't only equipped, he has firsthand experience. Being at the Thurston shooting, uh, worst day of my police career. On that dreadful day back in 1998, Officer Myers helped empty 15-year-old Kip Kinkle's pockets of ammunition and weapons. I felt helpless once we took the subject into custody, uh, but uh, just not wanting that to happen again, employing the video surveillance and the patrol tactics uh, to keep an active shooter off of this campus um, seemed like a priority for me. The Myers model is just one snapshot in the larger picture of where experts say the private security industry is headed. Station one, two, four, seen to call my school inside. Turn my modified lockdown. Gabby. That was the November 911 call that came in just a quarter mile from New Hope. A man with a gun got on the Churchill High School campus. He didn't get farther than the parking lot after a struggle with a Eugene police officer posted at the school. All right, I am staying clear of the scene. He's still wrestling with the guy on the ground, though. I just heard a gunshot. I just heard a gunshot. Although the school resource officer is employed by the city, the question still remains. What if he wasn't there? Seeing him in our neighborhood, being so close to our students, um, it just shows how important having somebody well equipped to uh, protect the school is. Very fast. It's going to happen that fast. And Donovan Beard teaches a class for the average citizen who wants a concealed handgun license and also trains those who want to enter the private security industry. We're seeing a lot of jobs with security professionals for high schools or for churches. Right now, Beard is busier than ever. Two, fire training security, it has increased exponentially. Um, what we're seeing over the course of the last 18 months, um, I have literally, with my company, certified hundreds of new security professionals in the state of Oregon. As for the state's response to the surge in new security personnel, it's stepping up its standards in curriculum and continuing education. 360 and reholster. For DPSST armed uh, refreshers, they go through 24 hours worth of training. Every single year, they have to go through and requalify with their basic handgun skills. We went out to a private gun range to see what it's like to shoot some of these high powered assault rifles, like the one Donnie Myers carries on the job every day. I learned quickly that the experience and tactical training can sometimes be your best weapon, which is also why Beard sees a lot of veterans and law enforcement officers entering the private security world. Having the situation where they are prior military, prior law enforcement, they already know kind of how, how the, the situation is going to unfold and how to directly work with law enforcement and dispatch. For Myers, he hopes his patrol presence is a deterrent, but ultimately that his training and preparedness will equip him for a potential violent encounter. And when asked if anyone should be hesitant to accept heightened security that could come with hidden high-powered weapons as a new standard for school safety, Myers says as long as people receive the right instruction, it's worth it to save a life. The police departments just simply cannot do it. They don't have the budgets. They don't have the manpower and even response time. I mean, 
three, four minutes into an active shooting situation and most of them are over. And Donovan Beard says that Jesuit High School in Portland is doing the same type of security as New Hope in Eugene. But as far as other churches and schools in Lane County, he says he can't disclose those private training agreements, but says they're definitely out there.